Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. I know I haven't made a video in a while, but uh, today I'm just going to show you uh, just what the OptiFast is. It's uh, a pre-op diet that my doctor has put me on. It's for six weeks, and uh, I have to say it kind of tastes like crap, but, you know, uh, it's what I got to do before surgery, and uh, I'll be uh, looking forward to when this ends. So, uh, the OptiFast is a 900 calorie a day diet. Uh, you're supposed to take four of these every day. Four of these one packages. Um, I have a bottle here that I use that helps me shake it up. Usually I have a whisk kind of ball wire thing that I put in the, the cup. And it's supposed to mix it up really well. But I forgot the whisk at my friend's house. So I'll have to make do with uh, just the cup and shaking. So, um, what's in it? Basically, it's got all your vitamins. Uh, it doesn't say on the package here, but I mean, we're not eating anything all day long, or I'm not eating anything all day long, just these packages. Uh, so I, I assume it has iron in it, your calcium, your uh, vitamin C, your vitamin D, just basically all the nutrients you need to survive. <clears throat> um, you're not supposed to take any extra vitamin C or anything like that with uh, the Octifast because it can cause you to have uh, kidney stones and uh, you don't want that because it's pretty painful and it kind of sucks so um, uh, so basically how do you prepare this uh, on the back it says pour the contents into at least a 300 milliliter container this is uh, like I said 600 so let's go ahead and do that Okay, into the container. Also, I have my water here. You can use very cold water from the fridge or you can use tap water, whatever temperature you want it at. Uh, but don't heat up the water. Um, just because it'll clump together and it's vanilla, it won't taste good. So, just use cold water. Also, uh, if you want, you can add stuff that is sugar-free to actually give it extra flavor, kind of like uh, the crystal lights or um, spices or anything that you want to use that's sugar-free and doesn't add any calories to the, to the drink. Now I'm filling mine up to 600. I find that with good consistency it tastes better. It's not as strong um, because I really don't like the taste. It's kind of chalky to me. So I use 600 uh, milliliters. You're supposed to drink a lot of water with this anyways uh, throughout the day. So that's what I'm going to do. So just put the lid on, give it a good twirl, and then shake it up. So when you're shaking, just make sure you're getting a good consistency. Uh, if you have a clear bottle, just check the bottom if, if uh, there's a little bit of you can see a little bit of powder sticking to the bottom. Just keep shaking and uh, it'll get uh, dissolved with uh, the water. Alright, so looks like I have a good consistency. It'll look kind of like milk when you're done. Just pop the lid, bottoms up. I like to drink it fast because I, I really don't like the taste, but got to do it. Alright, so that's done. <clears throat> One of the things you're supposed to do with the Optifast is uh, don't let it sit after you've shaken it and mixed it because it'll settle and... Um, You'll either have to shake it a lot more or it'll be clumpy and it'll, it won't taste that good or you might not get all the uh, Octifast that you need in your, in your drink. If you do want to leave uh, it sit for a little bit, 
they tell you to put it in the fridge, that way it'll keep cool. It'll stop it from clumping, but you'll still have to shake it, give it a good shake when you're when you're done with it. Uh, when you want to use it. Basically, that's it for the OptiFast. Um, it's four of those per day, which gives you 900 calories, and uh, I'll be doing that for six weeks. I've already done a week so far, and uh, it's been pretty hard. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. You don't eat anything, except I have gone to the store and picked up something. Uh, it's the chicken broth. Basically, it's just like chicken the uh, soup but without anything in it uh, it's very low in calories it's 10 calories per serving which is uh, two two-thirds of a cup 150 milliliters <clears throat> uh, it's 10 calories uh, fat zero gram zero gram zero percent there's no saturated fat no trans fats uh, cholesterol nothing Sodium uh, is 40 milligrams, so that's 2% of uh, your daily intake. And potassium, 100 milligrams, which is 3%. Carbohydrates, very low, it's 1%, 1 gram of carbohydrates. Uh, fiber, there's none. Sugars, there's 1 gram. Proteins, so like, there's no extra vitamins in it. So, I mean, we're already getting all our vitamins in here anyways, and that'll be good because, like I said, any you can actually OD on the vitamin C, which will give you kidney stones. <clears throat> so basically the ingredients are just the chicken broth, water, chicken stock, barley yeast extract, dextrose flavor, uh, chicken fat, canola, or, or uh, sun, uh, soybean oil. So if you're sick of just having the OptiFast all the time, which you'll still need to do, um, but if you want something in between, you can use the chicken broth. I I pick Campbell's because of because of the nutritional values on the on the side. I looked at some other ones, other brand names, and like the no name brands and whatever the store brands, and they're a lot higher. So Campbell's, yeah, Campbell's. That's what you want. Also, uh, there's a beef one. Uh, the The values are a little bit higher, but in terms of like the extra vitamins, they're they're uh, they're not there either. So basically, it's your salt intake and your carbohydrates that are a little bit higher with the beef. So for me, I want to lose as much as I can because I'm at a higher weight than most people. So the chicken broth is for me. It's not bad tasting. Uh, it, I mean, it tastes like chicken, you know, like a, like a chicken soup would taste. So I don't mind it. It's, uh, you know, better than nothing. And it doesn't affect what you're doing with OptiFast. I checked in the manual that was given to me at, uh, our bariatric meeting and they said that, uh, yeah, it says that we can use chicken broth. Um... So there you have it. That's uh, about it for uh, for this uh, edition, and I'll uh, continue to make some other videos. I know I've been away for a while, but uh, I've been just trying to concentrate on uh, different things for the last month uh, to get me prepared for surgery. It's been a long road so far, and I'm just going to keep going. So uh, thanks for uh, watching uh, Wasted Journeys, and uh, my name is Brian Landry. Also, you can uh, click on my uh, Facebook page at Wasted Discoveries, and uh, also visit me on YouTube at uh, Wasted Journeys, and uh, you can watch all my other videos. Alright, have a great night. Bye.